Hey there, it's Ash from Elementor. Welcome to this tips and tricks tutorial. Today we will learn how to build these awesome effects, combining text and images with Elementor's magic and a single line of CSS code. We will recreate this hero section step by step and explain the logic behind its functionality. So if you're ready, let's get started. We will start in our editor. First, create a new section with one column. Then set its minimum height to 80VH to give us some vertical space inside the section. In style, set a background color of your preference to match the template. Next, let's add our heading. On the widgets menu, drag and drop the heading inside the column. Type your text. And in style, set a color. And add a font style of your choice. When you use large size fonts, it's best to use relative units to make them responsive. We chose VW for this one to make the font size change according to the percentage of the screen size. Now back to the widgets menu, drag and drop the image widget under the heading. Select the image of your choice and insert it. As you saw in our example, this image will be used to rotate itself when a user scrolls, showing one watch at a time. To make this effect, we created a square sized image that has a transparent background. Above it, we placed our watches rotated around a circle. Next, we are going to change the size of the image. In style, change the units to viewport width to make the image equal to the percentage of the window's width, and set the value to 90. Now, change the default maximum width by setting its value to 90VW. This size is great for our example. Now it's time to position our widgets on top of each other. Select the heading, and in the Advanced tab, under Positioning, set its position to Absolute. Now select the image, and in the Advanced tab, set its position to Absolute as well. As you can see, both the heading and the image widgets are removed from the flow of elements on the page, so they don't take up any height in the column. This allows us to position them exactly where we want them, even on top of each other. Adjust the horizontal and vertical offsets. And that's it, our image is ready. Now let's create the illusion of the image moving inside the text. Select the heading. Oops, I can't select the heading because the image is in front of it. When you have absolute position widgets, it might be hard to select them since they often overlap with each other. Navigator comes in really handy for this. Click here to open the navigator. Select the heading and adjust its position a bit using the vertical offset. Now right click on your heading and select Duplicate. This trick requires two headings, and this image position right between them. But when we say between them, how can we control which element is in front of the other? The answer is Z-index. In the Advanced tab of each widget, column or section, you will see this option called Z-index. The higher the number, the more to the front of the screen the element will be. This will be the text that stays at the back of the other two, so let's give it a low number, 1. To make this easier to remember, let's give it a name. Double click the heading and name it Filled Text. We would like this image to be right on top of the filled text. In the Advanced tab, give it a Z index of 2. Lastly, let's double click the other heading and give it a name of outline text. This heading will be on top of the other widgets, showing only the outline of the font. In the Advanced tab, set the Z index to 3, and as you can see, it immediately shows up in front of the image. Next, let's create the font's outline. 
set its background color to transparent by dragging it all the way to the left. Now, back in the Advanced tab, we are going to use some custom CSS. Elementor gives you full control over your elements to customize them even further using CSS. Let's add this line here. Type selector to select your widget, and inside the brackets, type this. As you can see, the font now has a white outline creating the illusion of the image being inside of it. The last thing that is left to do is to add a motion effect to our image. Select the image, and in the Advanced tab, under Motion Effects, enable the scrolling effects. We will enable the option to rotate while we scroll through our website and customize its settings a bit. Now, if we try to scroll, we will see that it works great, but the image overlaps on the section below. There is an easy trick to hide this overflow. Select the section and in Style, make sure you have an active background color. Now in the Advanced tab, set the Z index to 2. Just like we saw before, using Z index made the section below go in front of the previous one, hiding the unwanted image overflow. Use this trick to hide or show overflows of sections or widgets, as well as to position them in a desirable order. Now let's take a look at how this displays on tablet and mobile devices. Click on the responsive mode, and select tablet. The hero section looks out of place, but don't worry, we can fix this really easily. Select the section, and adjust its minimum height. Next, select the heading, and fix its position by altering the horizontal and vertical offsets. Repeat for the second heading. We can also set the image a little lower. In the Advanced tab, under Positioning, change its vertical offset. For mobile, you have two options. One is to disable the effect, and the other one is to keep it as it is, adjusting the widget's position. To remove the rotate effect, just click onto the image and in the Advanced tab, under Motion Effects, remove the mobile tag so that the effects won't apply to it. In our example, we will keep the rotation as it is. Select the section and change the minimum height. And lastly, select the image and increase the width and the maximum width a little. And that's pretty much it. Use this effect to give a playful touch and highlight your products. Create different combinations and surprise us with your unique designs. As always, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more cool tutorials and tricks.